Where you go? She just like took her ball and went home. Is she all right? Morning there, buddy. Chad, Adler Farms. Little man's not here today. Actually, he's here. Just like last time, he's in there hanging out with grandma. It's funny because when we head to the house, he knows he's going to hang out with grandma while daddy feeds the animals. And he starts saying, I build blocks with grandma. Yeah, okay. But I need, I need eggs. Okay. And bacon. Okay. And a propel. He's so, he's so specific. He's like, I don't need a drink. I need propel. What do you think? Is that good? Hmm? All right. Good deal. I think she likes her THC. Stop it. There's hardly any THC in there, okay? If you don't know what THC is and hemp and all that stuff, that's that's not, you're, you're poorly confused. Hey, nope. I can't get the zip tie off because your big body's in the way. Back up. Back up. There we go. There we go. What's up, Smokey? What's up, Smokey? What you doing? What's you doing? I don't have any more, I'm sorry. What's up, goats? Lucius? Batman. P-Dub. So anyway, somebody was like, well, if Smokey starts acting lethargic and tired, that's why I'm giving her a hint. When do livestock guardian dogs work the most? At night. When do I get here and film? <laughs> In the morning, after she's been up all, after she's been up all night. So of course, when I get here, she looks tired. It's not the THC. There's like, if any at all, there's a trace amount in that supplement. So shh, okay. <laughs> Some of y'all need to work on either researching before you comment. Or not commenting. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But it's all right. Uh-oh, we're running. She ain't tired this morning. She ain't tired this morning. Oh, yeah. Look out. Here she goes. I always touch her behind when she runs by. Get her goosing going. Whoa. You almost hit me. You almost hit me. Here she comes. Yeah. Oh. She does. She's like lunging at me this morning. Oh yeah, this dog is so tired from all that THC. Where are you going? She just like took her ball and went home. Is she all right? That was kind of odd. Oh, I know what we're doing. I know what we're doing. Look out. Code Brown. Must have had her coffee in her THC. Let me go feed the pigs, hang on. Hey. You stop for the doo-doo, hang on. Look at this pig. Look at this pig. Oh man, somebody hooked you up with some eggs yesterday, huh? <laughs> Who's been here long enough to remember the song I used to sing to the beefy boys? Hey. It's wet right here. Let's move. Let's move. Let's find a dry spot. Let's find a dry spot. Watch out. Don't shove me into the fence. Don't push me into the fence. Here we go. Just found a spot with no turds. That was the goal. So how are we going to get Han over here? We're going to do it probably Monday or Tuesday. So there'll be one more video with y'all by yourself and then we're moving him in here. Okay. We're going to extend the pin. And then the way I move my pigs is you can see I've got that, I've got that bottom, uh, wire bottom. Uh, what's that stuff called? Barbed wire. Hey, -oh. I got that bottom barbed wire pinned up. And what I'll actually do is unfold this. Like I'll undo it and I'll undo it over there and they can just, they can walk all the way across. Han will just waddle right in here and Humpty Dumpty. At least that's, 
At least that's how I see it going in my head. <laughs> it always goes that way. Stump a little bit of this out. It rained last night. That's not like gross water. It rained about 2 p.m. Or I'm sorry, it's rained about 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. What are you doing? What are you doing? Saving that for later? Saving that for later? Remember how big his ears used to look next to the rest of his body? They still do, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's getting bigger. Oh, 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 oh. All right. So, we'll just make an alleyway right here. An alleyway right there. I'm doing it reverse in the camera. And he'll just waddle right through. It's pretty cool. He's done it. He's done it before. Because if you remember how Grandpa got him in here, he was so small. He was like, goodness. I don't think he was much bigger than a football. And Grandpa, like, parachute covered him with a blanket. And just picked him up and carried him in there. But he ain't going to do that now. Look out. Look out. Look out. Hi. Hi, Smokey. Such a good dog. Such a good dog. Such a good dog. All right. What do you think, boys? Huh? What would you say? And what would you think, man? What you think, can I pet you? Woo, that was it right there. That's the no-no. No, no, no. Hang on. We got water in the troughs. I need to drill some holes. That would make it a lot better. There we go. My goodness. I bet she wobbles when she wiggles. What in the world? <laughs> Can I touch the goat hawk? Can I touch the goat hawk? Can I? Is the goat hawk touchable? Not really? Okay. What do you say, turkeys? What do you say, turkeys? Huh? You still have some food. We're gonna wait. I'm gonna let that dry out. They're all right. Look out. Oh, the bird herd. The mini bird herd. Cool. If you remember right, last time, don't do that again to me. Don't do it, man. There's no eggs in here. They're too little. But anyway, somebody's asking what all these birds are. I don't really know. That's a pinna de sinca. Right there. Pinna de sinca. That's a cream leg bar. That's a lakeshore agar. I don't know what that is. That's a lakeshore agar. More cream leg bars. There should be like, I don't know, like six cream leg bars, six lakeshore agars. And I think those are called <laughs> green queens or something like that. I don't know. I did the best I could. I can't remember. <laughs> but as they get bigger, I can identify them for you. Is he going to crow? Is he going to crow? Come on, buddy. Whoa, what were y'all doing, huh? What were y'all doing? Where's your other girlfriend, by the way? Does she know you guys? Does she know y'all hang out together without her? Hey, I, I need to. I need. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon, madame. Let's, let's, watch out. Watch out. Get back. There we go. Woo. <clears throat> My goodness. Hey, look out. Look out. Chicken run. Ready? I have to do it since Adler's not here. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Well, that's kind of cool. Y'all just taking a day off or what? Huh? You ever heard the uh, joke, what's up, chicken butt? Plenty of food, Nancy's. Plenty of food. Man, look how pretty they are. Goodness.
Uh oh. Smokey's not gonna get an egg. Yep. No ego for Smokey. Uh oh. Grandpa's in trouble. Grandpa did it, Smokey. Grandpa did. I got one more place we can look, though. You want to come with me? The goats might be hiding an egg. I don't have one. Hang on. Come here. If Magneto's girlfriend's in there, too. A lot of y'all ask why we don't check this uh, coop very often. And it's because they don't really lay in here anymore. So, we'll see. I also... I didn't check it for a long time because I had Adler and I was worried about snakes. So grandpa was checking it for us. Oh, no egg. Man. Batman, you need to give birth, brother. <clears throat> he ain't gonna be cold this winter. It's windy. It's real windy. If she's not with Magneto, where is she? Like, I'm less worried about not finding an egg and more worried that we didn't find Gray. Huh. But, remember, Gray is the one that disappears often and just goes rogue and, like, lays eggs random places. So you guys got to trust me on something. Because Adler's in the house. If I go in there, the process of him eating breakfast and Daddy going to feed the animals without him starts all over okay if you haven't had a toddler in a while just understand that i can't go in there and get smoky an egg right now i gotta wait until we're done but smoky will get an egg right now we gotta go feed mcwilma see you later mcwilma mcbrisket mcribeye and mcfred how's that is that pretty good Look, Fred. I've been working on it. I practice in the shower. Everybody else does too, don't lie. It's quiet today. There's Wilma. She's ready to race. She got her sizzling bacon shoes on today. It's probably really windy. You guys won't even hear this. I did a pig pig. I did a pig pig. Let's go. Here, pig pig pig. Well, don't get too excited. It's only Friday. <laughs> so when Wilma, when she doesn't run up here when it's food, that means Mr. G fed her last night and fed her well like table scraps a dozen eggs we say pig pig we say pig pig but in true pig fashion she's not gonna turn down a meal she may have eaten this morning did you eat this morning you probably did didn't you you probably did such a good pig such a good pig yeah Good pig. Eat that when you're ready, okay? No rain in the forecast, so it'll be there. You want some water? See you later, pig pig. Maybe Mr. G gave her some hemp. That's probably what it is. She probably had some THC. They're all three standing right there. They're waiting on me. Should I go feed them? They don't look hungry either. Let me go feed them though. All right. Oh, now we're gonna race through the electric gauntlet. Thanks for that. Got her. Smoked her. What say, boys? What's up, boys? What do you say? It's 41 degrees. Actually, tomorrow morning, 
Tomorrow morning will be Saturday, the day you guys are watching this. It's supposed to be 27. As you guys watch my channel through the winter, okay? And I tell you it's cold because it's 27. Humans are just like the animals. We get accustomed to temperatures, okay? If you live in northern Minnesota, northern Michigan, Canada, the North Pole, whatever, Alaska, I know it's colder where you're at. I'm aware. You don't have to tell me, you're sissy, it's not cold, it's 29 degrees. I'd, I'd give anything to be 29 degrees. Look, the only person I know that lives where it's cold on purpose is Santa. It's actually kind of cold. It's supposed to do that today. Whew, that wind is straight out of the north. Straight out of the North Pole. Couldn't be any more north. Now you can comment all you want. You can say, that's not cold, Chad. But -ba That's fine. It's cold here. It's cold to me. I mean, I watch guys like Al Lumna and Alaskan Homestead. You know, that's cold. I get it. Hey, we got to back up. We got to back up. What's up, McFred? Don't stick your head in there, Fred. I got something for you. Whoop. Somebody said, get this out of here. Because, yeah, there we go. You guys said it'll make that steel rust and go away quicker. So it's out. What do you say, Fred? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Fence is on. Fence is on. Uh oh. There we go. Come on, big boy. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. You've been in some serious brush this morning. Look at that. What do you say, huh? So this is what's so cool. Well, dude, it's manners, man. What's cooler than being cool? Ice cold. Name that song. So Fred is not cold whatsoever. And he won't be around here. It's pretty slick. I'm excited for you, Fred. Somebody said your horns were growing already. You've been here for, is it two weeks tomorrow? Yeah, two weeks tomorrow is how long you've been on the farm. That's pretty cool, man. Look at your horns. Can I touch the horns? They're not off limits, are they? Can I pull on them a little bit? Can I pull on them? Again, I just address comments to be funny because I am funny, if you didn't know. But some of y'all mentioned, and I know some of y'all, you got like a thousand head of cattle. You got 30, 40, 50 years of experience. I know. I only know what I've done. And I'm a student. I'm a, I'm a, I gotta see things, okay? I can't just take a, you know, my dog walker's sister told me that her cattle do this. I have to learn. I gotta do it myself, okay? That's why I like having Gary Walker as a mentor so much, because Gary's, and I've told him this, Gary's very good about teaching, but also letting me learn. I don't know how much my steers weigh. I don't think it's a thousand pounds, I'm aware. But when I tell them, when I say they look like they're a thousand or they look like they're 800 or whatever, Gary can look at them and tell. When he shows up, he'll know exactly. Within a few pounds, he'll probably know exactly how much they weigh. But he's not, he's not like pushing it on me like, hey man, there's no way those weigh a thousand pounds. There's no way those weigh 700 pounds. There's no way. It's, I love it. I appreciate you, buddy. But I was also told, I'm trying to block the uh, my speakers over here, my microphone. I'm trying to block the wind. I was also encouraged not to like push on Fred's head or grab his horns or headbutt him. Dude, did you see the cuddle session we had the other day? I have grabbed 44's horns since the day he came to the farm. And I've pushed him around 
I've grabbed his horns and like, uh, you know, tried to like manhandle him when he was four or 500 pounds, just picking on him, just roughhousing. Now, does that mean he won't hurt me? Absolutely not. He could send me across the pasture real quick. It kind of, it's a bonding thing, you know, and I don't know about y'all, but it's been a long time since I've been Little Spoon. And the other day, <laughs> I was definitely a Little Spoon. He may not be a thousand, but he's well over 265. That was good. I was warm. I needed that. It's like a bro mance. It's like a cow, a, a bovine mance, a bovance. Oh, look who it is. A curious cousin. What do you say, man? What do you say? I put some sweet feet in there and some cubes. And now the mineral block you guys wouldn't touch. Now you're licking it. What's up with that? What's up? Oh, he thinks, yeah. Good eyes, buddy. This isn't on, it's not connected. So I can touch it, but he don't know it. So when you guys see this camera right here, this lens, this amount of zoom, this is real. Like I'm not, I'm not zoomed in, I'm this close. And he is kind of leery of me because before we built Fred this paddock or this feeding area, I had to get onto him a lot for messing with Fred. So he don't really like me. I mean, he likes me, but I've established I'm in charge. Here's an easy one for you. That stick right there. I don't know how tall that is, but I'll find out. I'm going to Google that and see how tall that stick is. And you guys will know how tall the beefy boys are. But that's why he stays away. Cause I've had to establish I'm in charge. I'm the mama cow and you're the daddy spoon. <laughs> yeah, you are. Come here, buddy. Come here. Are you going to do me like that? Huh? That was a one-time thing, huh? Here, I'll go around this side. I'll go around this side. Yeah. See? I've done that. Yep. Look at those horns, man. You're so good looking, buddy. So somebody said, well, what if you only process 42? What if you only process 42? It's time. It's almost two years. In, in uh, February, it'll be two years. And from what I've read, and this isn't all coming from Gary. This is me learning and bouncing things off Gary and Ben down at VW. This is me bouncing things off of them. From what I've learned is, how do I describe it? Well, okay, some of you guys are upset about Wilma going to the processor. We used to have another pig, my first pig ever, named Hoss. He was American guinea hog, and he gave me two litters of pigs with Lola. And before the second litter was born, Mr. G processed him as part of the payment for this land. That was almost a year ago. So that's why Wilma's up next. And then out of these piglets with Han and Leia and Lola, Mr. G will take another one. That's how it works. Okay. Very blessed that that's what that's that that arrangement is good. Hoss is an American guinea hog, just like Lola. And they can actually get so big, they're a lard pig. They can get so big that there's not as much bacon as you would think. They're not very long. If you notice, Leia and Wilma are almost a foot longer than Lola. And Han will be too. I say all that to say, <laughs> who is it that says that? I think Dutch says that. But can you tell who I've been watching build their house the last couple of weeks? These guys, same thing. They're not an Angus. You can't just keep raising them. The meat will get tougher. You know, mine are, I wouldn't say grass fed, but they're certainly not grained. This is eight acres and it's not growing. They're eating it. I love talking to you guys, by the way. If you're still here, I sincerely appreciate it. This is how much I've learned. I'm brand new to this. People are like, man, I can't believe you're a first gen farmer. Dude, I don't even know if I'm a first gen farmer qualified yet, but I can cuddle my cows. So it's time. They know it. It's okay. God knows it. God gave me, he blessed me with these animals. He blessed me with the funds to buy them, which by the way, I only paid $150 a piece. I got ripped off on that one. He should have been free. I, I love these animals. I, I'm, I'm having so much stinking fun out here. And again, I love addressing comments. I love ranting. I love venting. Some of y'all think it's hilarious. More of you think it's hilarious than don't. Well, here you go. I had eight comments on my last video saying I didn't address why I can't buy more Highlands. Yes, I did. I 
talked about it for like 15 seconds at the 11 minute mark. I said, I can't find them. Now, I can find them, but I'm not paying $4,000 a head. Now, that doesn't mean I can't afford them. I told you in the last video, all eight of you, I'm talking to people. There was 30,000 views on that video and I'm talking to eight of you. So thanks for wasting our time. All you had to do was watch the video and you would know this. There's an auction coming up. I'm going to it. It's first week of December. I'm gonna get me some cattle. Rhett is building his herd. He didn't necessarily have more for sale. So I didn't want to press him and buy four or five of them from him. Plus he's got a lot of registered, so they're more expensive. I don't need a registered, okay? Fred's not registered. But one super cool thing that I didn't know, Rhett has some cows, mama cows, that you can actually buy I mean, I know you can artificially inseminate, I knew that, but you can buy registered bull semen and put it in a non-registered heifer or cow and that calf that comes out is registered. I didn't know that. That's the coolest thing ever. Humans don't do that yet, or do they? Is it, are you a registered human? I like Eon. That's a terrible idea. Stay out of my head. I got enough things going on in there. But as soon as I find some reasonably priced. The lowest I have found is $2,200 per head. That's if I buy four of them. We've budgeted for it. Okay. I'm starting a herd. Anybody in here that's a cattleman and you're watching like Gary, I don't know what Gary paid for his last bull, but I guarantee it wasn't $150. Okay. Everybody that has cattle knows it's an investment when you first get in, especially if you pick something like a Highlander. Remember, I chose the Highlanders because I've only got eight acres. I'm working on that. I'd love to buy a farm, but I'm not in a hurry. There's plenty of stuff out here. There's actually a whole bunch of land over there that I'm keeping an eye on. But if I buy that land over there, that still means I have overfed animals on the weekends and the afternoons. Grandpa. I'm having so much stinking fun. I'm going to take my time. That's Fred. That's Fred's jam. Well, one thing's for sure, you don't mind my noisiness rants in the background. So that's pretty cool. You're all right, buddy. Just trying to mess with his ears, mess with his horns, get him used to me. I'm not going to brush him. Quit asking. Especially heading into winter. He's a young bull calf. This is his first winter. He was born in uh, July. No, June 2nd. Nope, might be July, so I don't know. He's six months old, six or seven. And he did not go through those harsh temperatures we had last year. So, I don't want to brush him. I don't want to affect his coat. I don't want anything like that. And I had an idea, because we have this little area right here, and see how they mined it? And I'm not, I'm not kidding. It's 40 degrees, man, it's getting colder. But, I'm braving it. I hope you guys can hear me. This little thing has worked really, really well. And I don't want to wait until it's too late to build a loafing shed or a lean-to for Fred. And what I also don't want to do is wind up in a position, because I'm trying to buy four Highlands at once. What I don't want to do is wind up in a position where I got four Highlands and nowhere for them to get out of the wind. So I think what I'm going to do this weekend or next is build a loafing shed and put a put wires around it so that way the two ton tinas don't tear it up i was going to wait till they were gone to do it what's crazy is here in southwest missouri you know it's 40 degrees today it's it's cold the wind is cold it's blowing colder and it was like 70 yesterday but it could snow tomorrow and it has it snowed on halloween before and then we wore shorts on christmas in 60 degree weather so I know Farmer's Almanac, I know the persimmon seeds and all that stuff are telling us that it's going to be one of the wettest and coldest winters ever. Fred, I've talked enough, my guy. They're over me. We got to call it quits. That okay? You about done? Here, can I pour it on the ground? Is that easier? I think that's easier once it gets below a certain point.
buddy. Fred, I need some gloves, man. I don't need them. I've got gloves, but I should have wore gloves. Are you done? What are you doing? All right, buddy. What do you think? You come say hi. Come here. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? All right. Good looking. Here, let's move the rope. Now, the other day he walked underneath it. Which was funny, because they can't. They're every bit of a foot higher. Watch out, buddy. Watch out. Hip hip. Seriously? You're just showing off that you know it's not hot. All right. Men are getting big, tall. All right, boys, I'll be good. I'm gonna move this though. I don't want them tripping on it. Running up to this. So actually, I've got a bowl for that. Let's go get it. He's going. He wants to go in there and see what Fred left behind, but I'm still standing here, so he won't. He'll push Fred. Hang on. He always does it. Maybe. It's funny though, when he goes and eats, Fred gets water. That's funny. A couple more things for the cattlemen out there. And I'm asking for advice. I'm not gonna, like, I wanna know. <laughs> Don't be scared to comment just cause I like arguing. What's up, buddy? Hang on. I can't pick this up. One hand. Good mess. There we go. Look, look, look. Woo! Woo! There we go. Let him get a drink. Don't be a McTurk. Question. I got eight five by six bales of hay. Huge round bales. Okay, I was told they weigh like 1,200 pounds. They're huge, we've been over it, don't tell me they weigh less. They're bigger than the beefy boys, I can tell you that much. But, if I brought home four, let's say mama cows, I was gonna say heifers, but let's say mama cows, just in case. If I brought home four, how much more hay should I get for the winter? So, the beefy boys will be gone. So if I brought home yearlings, I know it wouldn't be near as much. But if I brought home like two two-year-old cows and two yearling heifers, how much more hay do I need? Let me know. All right, let's go check on Casey. <laughs> let's go check on Adler and Grandma. Sneak up on you, can I? <laughs> what are you doing? I just said a smoky. Waving at Smokey? Those cookies good? Uh huh. I'm gonna give Smokey your egg, okay? I'll be right back. I'll be right back. She's probably sleeping. Oh my goodness. Stay there, it's all right. There she is, I can go this way. I told you I'd bring one. I told you, I told you I'd bring you one. See you later. See you later. Can you wave at Smokey? You can't wave at her? She's doing 
too far away. Yeah, it's okay. I told her you said hi. Is that okay? <laughs> you ready to go home and take an NAP? Mm -hmm. Who's this? That's Daryl. Daryl. Who's this? Uh, hmm. Fia. No, McFred. McFred <laughs> and platypus. And platypus. Show me platypus. Platypus. Where's he at? Pull him out of there. There he is. There he be. All right. Smack the camera. We'll go home and hang out. Bam. We got there. Cars. Cars. Did somebody send you those? Thank you. All right. Be I'll be doing. Too hard, too hard. They were too hard. Don't make it weird. Don't make it weird. Yay, boss! Yeah. <laughs> Deuces. Deuces. Ha, 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 ha.